guys, it's Daros Probs here, and welcome to episode 7, guys, of Modding the Bedrock Edition. Yes, it's been a while, but I've decided to do this one because a couple of you guys have asked me in the comment sections of a couple of my videos, how do you get the Iron Golem Spawn Egg on the Bedrock Edition? Now, there is not just the Iron Golem Spawn Egg, there is an absolute ton of different custom Spawn Eggs, okay? That's what we're focusing on, on this episode. And these four in the chest here are the Iron Golem, the Ender Dragon, the Snow Golem, and the Wither. Okay, and I've got a load in my hotbar, and there's one more in here. So, how do you get these? Now, I'm going to show you quickly how you get this. Um, so you just want to grab any old spawn egg, so I'm just going to grab a piggy one, and we're going to save and exit, guys. Now what you want to do is load up Universal Minecraft Editor, find your save that you want to edit. Mine is called Custom Spawn Eggs, here we go. Go on your players, or it could be a chest if you've got that. Go on your inventory, find your pig, and now all spawn eggs have the ID of 383, okay? Now the way you change this is with the damage value, okay? Now how did I figure these out? Well thanks to the creator of this program, Matt, or Oprizal P, he has created this diamond button, okay? Now you can search for entities and stuff, and yeah, you can just it just makes your life easier. You can find blocks, you can find whatever you want, okay? But we're using the entity feature. Now say I wanted a custom spawn egg that only spawns uh well let's do the eye golem if you want. Now say, it's, say it says here, 20, okay? Now that is the actual ID of the golem, okay? Now if I just go into the damage value of the pig and type in 20, that says unknown ID. Well, that is the iron golem spawn egg. So that's all you need to do, guys. So all of these entities you can actually put into an egg, but some of them do crash your game, so be careful, okay? Um, I'm gonna go through a few, it's not all of them, but yeah, let's load this up and I'll show you. So we're back on Minecraft and I'm just gonna load it back up. And as you can see guys, I have a white egg in my hand, okay? And if I hover over it, it is an iron golem. Now it does actually work, look. See? <laughs> I'm just gonna do the slash kill at E though. Wow. That was pretty loud, sorry. Uh, and I'm gonna grab the iron, why not? So, you can also get the, like I said, the wither, the ender dragon, and the snow golems as well. So, this is the ender dragon. As you can see, it's very weird. And if I punch him once, he's, he's dead. That's it, he's completely dead now. So, I don't really know what's going on there. Very unusual, but you can kill him and he disappears. The Wither, well this is the Snow Golem, you know him, he's not that excited really to be fair, so goodbye. And the Wither, yeah, it's just a bog standard Wither, oh my god, that is so loud. <laughs> Sorry guys. Right, on to the next one then guys. So we got all these ones here, and I'm just going to go through them with you. Now there's some really weird things. Potions are quite strange, they come like at you. Even though you place it on the floor, quite strange. Shulker bullet, okay, it's not that exciting, but it does actually give you levitation. The ender crystal is cool, you can place it on any blocks you want now, but if you punch it, yeah, it, it blows up. <laughs> the wither skull, now this is quite a strange one. It just, like, floats there. I don't really know what's going on there, guys, but, I mean, whoa, you can actually, like, bounce off his head. That's quite cool actually, I didn't even know that. And it gives you the wither effect, okay. Llama spit, very weird. Now this is a lot cooler than, you know, what we're used to on the console version, the previous version of Minecraft, because you can actually place these now. Uh, armor stand, yeah, he's an armor stand. <laughs> Arrows are quite cooler, you can just place them. Eggs, again. Chickens do spawn, there we go. And goodbye to you mister. Uh, what's the last one I got? Oh, this one is awesome. This is my favourite one. This is so cool. Look at this. 
<laughs> he just placed them. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this hurts you in survival or not. Probably, I would say. Um, yeah, let's get on to the next ones then. Right, so this one is a very weird. This is a dragon fireball. Now, you place it and it doesn't really do a lot until an explosion goes near it, guys. It just... It, it blows up and it leaves its particle effect, but I swear the particle effect should be purple, not red. But hopefully I can show you that. Uh, a chest minecart, um, unfortunately it doesn't have anything in it. I didn't think it would anyway. This falling block one, I'm so sad it doesn't work because I was going to try and figure a way of using this with my mines map. Um, yeah, it places a block as you can hear. Yeah, nothing actually uh, comes out. Bit weird. A TNT minecart. A minecart with a command block in it. It's pretty cool. Uh, this one's really good. It's a X. No, it's not the good one. But it's an XP orb. I mean, you could get a little jingle, but the bottle is better. That's what I meant. Again, this one is a bit similar to the dragon fireball, but you can actually punch this one and it blows up. Look. So that's pretty cool and it blows up in like a chain as you can see. So you can make like a proper, I don't know, random chain effect. But watch this, I'm going to try and blow this up and it probably will work. There we go. And now it leaves this horrible particle effect. And guys, this particle effect will stay here for ages. I mean, I don't know if it's unlimited or not, but it stays there for ages. And if you hop into survival, like I'm going to do now, you actually get like poisoned from it look well damage <laughs> I don't want to go in there too far else I'll die um so yeah we got a TNT which is primed which is pretty cool if you want to try your buddies or whatever and then we got a snowball not that exciting and now I've left these ones with 64 because I want to hop into survival for these so <clears throat> So I got all these in my hotbar now. Now this is super weird guys, watch this. So fireworks. <laughs> now I'm going to place loads of these around, okay, and you'll see what happens in a minute when I save and exit and I come back on my world, okay. That's that. The ender pearl. This is weird as well. Now, I tried it with dispensers, but it just spat one out. But watch when I place an ender pearl. It actually teleports you. Oh my god, I almost died then. It's quite strange. The leash knot, yeah. I don't really know what's going on with this one. It kind of just places wherever it can. It's very unusual. And now the XP bottle actually gives you XP, guys. So look, I could just spam the hell out of this, and I'm going to get a load of XP. I mean,. It's pointless being in the egg, really, but still it's possible. But anyway, I'm going to save and exit, and you watch these fireworks. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Whee! <laughs> what the hell? That's so weird, isn't it? That is so weird, honestly. You can have some fun with these guys. Very easy to do. That is the end of episode 7. Apart from, like I said, I'm just going to show you that some of these do crash your games, so be careful, like this painting one. Now, I've tried placing it on blocks, look. Oh, I can't pick block, I'm in survival. But watch, as soon as I place this, it's gonna crash your game. So, that is the end of episode 7, guys. I'm Darren Ross Probs. I hope you like this, and get ready for the crash. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I told you! Anyway, catch you in the next episode, guys.